Welcome to Bonehead Weekly. I have a hat on. Great intro. You're welcome. James, I'm why here. are your James, why are your pictures crooked? Hat on boy, that one so, is crooked as a dog's hind leg, as they so say. So this one just does. won't stay. You know what's even more crooked is the is the is the character who just moved the frame, Chad. That's that that guy's uh, crooked. Did you have an earthquake in 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 your area? Alabama. He's in Alabama. I am not, but um, uh, no, no, I on had, that great uh, Dixie fault line, <laughs> Dixie Mafia. No, it uh, it, this is a cheap frame and it won't stay straight. And this one actually will stay straight, but I've got it now. I've made it crooked. Yes, you did. <sighs> anyway, uh, I mean I it's succeeded. okay. James, are you okay, a, James? Are you yeah, okay? I'm, fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Fine. We're all fine here. How are you? <laughs> so, James. James, you're slunk down. I can only are see you from the... Right? Oh, hold on. Let me fix that. I, I was like, James, there's... I was like, are you mad that I upset you about talking about the, the lopsided picture? I mean, I'm sorry. No, I'm, Did I'm your dog leave now. you, James? I don't have a dog. I guess <gasps> technically, yes. That <laughs> explains so much. Hey, James, can, can I help? Here, let me help out. Look. Oh, look, it's better now. <laughs> no, it didn't huh. help me, Chad. Maybe if I drank more. <laughs> what do you think? Huh. It's Monday. Yeah. Monday's for drinking, isn't it? I don't have anything to drink here. Here, right here. Here, let me give you some. I don't have any of it in here, but there's a <laughs> in this bottle here. I was gonna say my cup my cup is filled with eyeglass wipes. Oh my goodness, that's a oh, nice hey, Batman yeah, cup. Did somebody give that to you, Chad? Yeah, no, thank you, James. Fuck you, Chad. <laughs> Give a man his Batman return uh, Taco Bell cups, and this is the kind of thing uh, you get after you paid for, for. Hold on, why am I oh, drinking of it to cancer? I remember now what I talked about the last time. Good, I'm covered. Oh, really? I don't yeah. remember. So, so this week's topic, of food. What the fuck? Liquor's not food. <laughs> what are you going to say? Dawes is saying. Speaking of food, since you did a Taco Bell tie-in, yeah, my kid loves Taco Bell. Matt, my kid would kill you for a five light five. For a five layer beefy burrito or whatever it's called, five beefy layer burrito. And if you guys, that new Jason Sudeikis menu, I know it's not called that, but Jason Sudeikis is, is selling it. And I have to say, I have to say, the green sauce that comes with the new Jason Sudeikis menu is really good. And they charge you 40 cents a pack for it if you're not ordering something that it comes with. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just saying, I'm not a Taco Bell fan for the most. Oh, part. is that Taco Bell? I, I haven't been lately. I usually go about once a week, but I well, been why don't you come back home and we'll go to Taco Bell and get drunk, or yeah. we'll get drunk and then go to Taco Bell. See, I mean, Chad's on board. I got two well, weeks left, gentlemen, and then I'll be back. It's Yay! about fucking time. I got to okay. grill out. I've got a whole slab of meat out there. I'm going to feed you. Mm. Dead and air, that, and after that, he'll <laughs> barbecue. No, that, yeah. <laughs> Would you like to barbecue with your friends? Because I can invite them. Oh, I knew that was coming, but I couldn't stop it. What are you, um, what, what you doing there, buddy? You seem preoccupied. Chad, am yeah, I? No, I, know. I was waiting for you to intro the show. I've been waiting for the topic to come up for 15 blessed minutes. I mean, you're sitting there looking like doing your best Alfred Hitchcock impression. You've been there sitting doing his fucking taxes, Chad. <laughs> I've already done my taxes. <laughs> yeah. Well, did you get yeah. a walk back? No, I owed quite a bit. Thank you for bringing it up, though. I'm that makes me happy. Thanks, thanks. You're putting me in a much better mood. I'm just going to go over here and kill myself. Your mood. So anyway, this week's topic hold was on. something. Hold on. Wonder how the barrel of this gun tastes. <laughs> Probably like gun oil, unless you're, you know, not oiling it. Hold on, can I can I make it work? Well, maybe when you pull the trigger, it'll rearrange those frames. <laughs> That's true. Maybe it'll finally make that fucking frame in the background if it puts a hole in it straight. I'll tell you what it won't put straight. Your brains. Oh, God. Oh, God. I just made Maybe myself Maybe it will. Busy. You don't know. I mean, according to quantum mechanics, it could happen. Probably according not. According to quantum could. mechanics, you don't understand physics. Oh, can we do the topic now? <laughs> well, really quick, I want to give a shout out to Barbara. Did you see Barbara was nice enough to share our show as far as the last topic on, on Scarefest fans page? It's really nice. I mean, there's yeah, no accounting a very for good taste, supporter. But... Her, Marianne Farley, there's several different people I appreciate. Ron, 
Thank you so much, Ron Bronte. There's several different people who make comments and thank you. And I know I'll only name three and I'll get to them later, but thank you so much for that. But that being said. Yeah. Thank you. We, at, uh, thank you at Olympic Leprechaun, whoever you are. They did have a good comment. Yeah. They did have a good comment. So I do appreciate those. That being said, this week's topic actually spun out of a Bonehead Weekly Fun Size that we do. And Bonehead Weekly Fun Size is things that we do. And we're going to keep dropping some of those sporadically throughout. But it's something that we do for Good Movie Monday, but which is Glenn and Ben in Australia. And it's something that we've done now for, geez, I don't know how many years we've done it. Do you know? Does anybody know? Well, we've been on what three Christmas specials or two? I can't even remember. It's been four years. It's I been think. four. I thought it was four Christmas. And he specials. hasn't written us one effing check. Now, in all fairness, nobody has written us a check. Don't single him out. Nobody. Also, too, us we got to give props because James is the one that came up with this awesome idea. It is. It is. It is. And the idea is what, James? Since you're busy doing your taxes, can you take a no? Break? No, it's it's the uh, the best fake restaurant so what are the the best fake restaurants so again it could be for movies films etc but what restaurant that doesn't actually exist now I, and there's a caveat we should throw out here because there have been some restaurants that had that were in movies that they've done pop-ups for yeah and i'm like gonna say movies. those yeah like movies which i, I never did get to eat at movies is either. a great example i would still say movies is a fictional restaurant for the purpose of this topic uh, so if anybody wants to talk about, it, but, but so these are in films, television, comics, whatever, right? TV, um, whatever. Yeah, yeah. That um, you know that that are are ones that you would go to, or and we may end with a few that we would absolutely not go to, but still, I have one. Can we start oh, out have with some too. of the ones that we have one that I wouldn't go to? You want to start with ones we wouldn't go to? That's a good idea. Let's. Start with I ones we would like go to start with one that I would not go to. I know we Marianne Farley is a good example. I know we have lots of people out here that watch this show religiously over and over. James, I know your wife watches this show over, or watches this show several different times. But fuck Central Perk. I'm not going to go hang out with those people. And the and I love coffee. Out of the three of the boneheads, I drink the most coffee. Unless Chad comes in number two, because James, I drink three cups a day. So I drink two to three cups a day. Chad, do you drink it dark roast and bitter? No, I drink mine light roast because it has the most caffeine and then I put cream and sugar in it. So I don't drink mine. I drink mine like I do my bourbon straight, maybe with a little. Actually, I don't drink any ice. So and you're I drinking drink it with the least amount of caffeine in it. So you're doing it wrong. Fuck you, Chad. I like it dark and bitter like my soul. Which has no caffeine. That's okay. It's got all the caffeine burned right out of it. I've heard this story before. Fuck you, people. Now. I mean this in the sweetest way. Central Perk can suck the day I won't go that, but can kiss the fattest. I don't actually have an ass, so I don't. I wouldn't go to Central Perk. What about the other two of you? And hang out with those people. I have no desire. None of those Dude, people I don't, would be fun for me to hang out with. I don't. I don't drink coffee. Yeah, I mean, literally, there's no, no coffee shop you're ever going to hear me go. Oh, let's go. There. I know, now, Chad, James. What happens if they, your wife? James, what happens if me and Joe go to a coffee shop and it has every single flavor of Diet Mountain Dew that or Mountain Dew Zero that you could ever uh, drink? Or Chad, then there's not really a coffee LA. shop. But yes, yes. I, I mean, LA, if, if I am, I, but I get actually our friend in arms who's doing his taxes. I, I actually get upset when there's places that sell coffee that won't sell soda. Because I've had, I, I've been, there. I've been to places with my wife because she likes coffee, and I'll go with her because I try to be a supportive husband, um, not to her, but to somebody. I try to support the coffee shop, and you I literally me went a in. And, times. And, You're a good husband to Joe Lewis, and and I've said I was, you know, I've asked, do you have soda? Do you have anything? Do you have tea? Do you have? No, we only sell coffee. I get it. You're a coffee shop, but you realize not everybody's interested, and it really does. It just feeds me. I'm like, listen, you got hot water. You can at least have a tea bag or something. Uh, but anyway, anyway, that's just me. But no, I wouldn't go there because I don't like that type of atmosphere. Anyway, is Joe doing his taxes now? Only what if I uh, basically somebody messaged me all of a sudden. I'm so sorry. You were. I heard everything you said. But no, 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 Joe. No, that's what Joe coffee. said. He was looking. He was making sure he was looking at his pecker and what he was doing. That he was would looking straight down. Me, that gentleman would involve me lifting lifting what uh, the skin or my stomach. Yes, no, I wasn't doing that. 
Also, you, you know were, you were doing a Moses. Doing. Hold on. Also, you know that wasn't true. I was in a basket in a river. That's a big ass <laughs> basket. No, parting a river. Yeah. Um, you, uh, what you don't know is, Chad. We know you're not right because at no point did he reach for his magnifying glass. Oh, see, a, if you're Chad. if you're a bonehead fan, we're really knocking it today because a couple of these, I gotta admit, out of 320 some episodes, not all of them are great, but this one today, we were smoking each other. And speaking of smoking the pole, James. You one I wouldn't go to, and it's a show I love. As a matter of fact, it's a show that I've watched multiple times, yeah. almost every episode. I put it on when I'm grading or when Why I need you stress just relief. Say the answer, and and it is I would not frequent Moe's Lax Establishment on the Simpson. Moe's would not be a place I would go. I would go to Moe's in a heartbeat. Next, oh, week. me too. I've been to the yeah, Moe's at Universal and plan no, no, on no, no. I would get you've one of those eggs to, out of the jar. You've been mm. to the tourist one. You've not been to the one where the rats. Holy you know. shit. I would totally go to the one where the rat went across with Ralphie going, this tastes like burning. No, no. I would go for the crowd. But it, honestly, if Moe's was an actual establishment that had rats that bad, that had, you know, pickled eggs that were from the 1970s, um, you know, <laughs> All all the things that we've seen that Mo has covered up or all that stuff. Um, yeah. No, I, I, it would not be a restaurant I would actually go to. Now, as a fictional establishment, or if I got to hang out with some of the characters, cool. But in all honesty, I think it would also be one of those things. It'd be cool for about 15 minutes, and then be like, y'all are killing me. Um, but no, no, Mo's would not be, given what we know about the health code violations, Mo's would not be a place I would hang out. Okay. Chad, what's yours? Uh, the diner and the hitcher. You find That's one finger, you're going to you find one finger, you're going to eventually find another. That's not necessarily true. That's uh, true. I was going to say, Joe's right. That's not always true. I was watching one of them murder uh, uh, documentaries. You're just lucky you got a mur- you just lucky you got a finger. Yeah, uh, I got I mean, a toe. I can get you a toe. I can get you a toe, bud. Get you a toe. Um, but no, no. So yeah, no. Uh, it's, I I'm, mean. I was gonna say it's the hitcher or the bar from No Holes Barred. Oh. I don't I don't both of those are off. Yeah, but if we could hear somebody scream, teeny tiny whiners. By the way, is this a little dick themed episode? It could be. Not for me. Oh <laughs> he's giving me the vapors. Oh, look at him coming in here with all his meats. But what kills me is I specifically remember the hitcher, that diner. Looks so clean and pristine. I don't in the middle of nowhere, and then he's eating fries that look so succulent and juicy. And then all of a sudden, I think you're talking about penis again. There's a finger, and if I saw that in a story, I would I would mark that finger. Finger. I would just ignore. I would just ignore it altogether and never touch it. Never go near that place again. Send me to a Waffle House, guys. I'd rather eat it. I don't want to lose our sponsors. I haven't had a Waffle House. We have no sponsors. I wonder what Waffle House tastes like now. I haven't had Waffle the House. The same as it did 10, 15, 20 years ago. Chad, I can't No, tell I disagree, I Chad. House. I disagree. I don't think it tastes the same anymore. You know why? Why? Because in most places, there's smoking bans, and you don't get that smoke with your, with your hash browns. Up. Right? You know what I mean? Like, you used to go to... There was no... <laughs> There was a quote unquote no smoking section in a Waffle House, but there was no no. So I just remember going into one right before Lexington went. You know, all restaurants are smoke free, and it was everything was like, oh, your hash browns come with a side of smoke. Mm, delicious. <laughs> so there well, you go. So guys. Now that yep. we've talked about what we would, where would you want to eat at? So let's start talking about this. I don't remember what I picked for, for, uh, I think I kind of remember, but I'm not for sure. We get questions all the time. By the way, we never get any questions and mm-hmm. I don't remember episodes. So who wants to go first of the places, I'll, I'll, fictional I'll diners you want to hang out with? Yeah, James, it's your topic, buddy. You go. I'll go because I, this is actually the one that I did for the thing. And you, it came back to me. If you steal me. mine, I'm going to cut him. Kill you. Well, bring it on. It's a long drive to get here. Um, 
No, I'll, hey, I'm going to at least. Hey, did he technically just invite us for the first time? I have invited. He's invited me times. several times. The problem is, is I decided to procreate with another Earth woman. So I've been told. And that's what the court papers say. And uh, his schedule, Chad, is unfortunately like yours as well on his <laughs> schedule. So when he's home, guess where I'm available to go is to his house. So in Mississippi, don't we have that problem, Chad, the last five or six mm -hmm. years? That but I like, right, it. I like blaming it on James. So but am up. I wrong, Don't ruin my Chad? fantasy. 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 James. So wait, we could do it in the fall if he's still there. I put him, I gave him a good reference the other day. James. James. Oh, Jesus. Oh, well, let me know. Uh, anyway, um, no, so so the restaurant that I would go to in a heartbeat, drop of a hat, would not even think about not going. Um, would actually, yeah, no, I'd, I'd go in a heartbeat. Is the only place in film history, to my knowledge, where you can get two whole fried chickens and, and a, a Coke. Coke. The Soul Food Cafe from the Blues Brothers. You got your entertainment. The you know you've got a uh, waitress that's going to belt out um, think, um, think, and you've got it's just it's what. And by the way, if you actually watch that movie and look at the menu, uh -huh. I'd eat at that cafe. What is the menu? Oh, dude, watch the movie. They've got it's soul food. So they've got like fried chicken. The they've fucking got fucking movie. I don't remember the Goran menu. Well, maybe you should pay better attention when you watch movies. Uh, anyway, uh, no, Dad, it's soul food. You mean to me? It's got uh, so I, it's actually food that I would now, eat. Now, James Thomas, keep it up. Yeah, I'm not gonna stop. Fuck you, Chad. You're supposed to defend me. Oh, he can't defend a windmill if it's stuck. Yeah, I got nowhere. I started down it. Yeah, and you were I, trying to be literary, and you are ill. I was trying to be. I was trying to be. In, in all Dennis fairness, Miller, I'm, I'm more and Sancho, I ended up I'm more Sancho than 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 Don. You would need a curd out of a helmet if your life depended on it. <laughs> That's for what? you, James. That's that. You have to be well read to get that joke. It's actually out of a hat, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, what All the right. hell did you just say? I said a oh. helmet. Yeah, no, that's anyway. what anyway. James. But no, Soul Food, Soul Food Cafe is from Blues Brothers. It's really uh is it is where Aretha Franklin performs Think, but it is a restaurant that I would go to, to small to corner uh small kind of family eatery, but it's soul food and it's all high salt. I'm assuming high fat content. What could be better? I would eat at the soul food. You know what I hope it's like, Joe. And and nobody nobody out there in listening land is going to get this. I've got my but fingers you, crossed for you, I, buddy. I'm. It's like the long departed that I enjoyed. They had great catfish, um, Joe Jack's yeah. fish and uh, chicken shack. You took me there one time. Oh, dude! The first time I went in there, this is a true story. The One guy time also... we were advisors together in in A and yeah. S that the department that decided that I needed to go. Uh, well, I mean, you know, um, that's all right. I'll tell you. Well, I'll tell you a story while we're on it. There, I don't care. They sent me a letter asking for a donation. They they sent it to my dad's. They sent my name with dad's address, and dad said, "You got some mail from UK." And I opened it up. I was like, "Them sons of," and it came out. It was like sons of bitches. <laughs> Yeah, I literally almost wrote down you fired everything that I ever what I knew and sent it back, but I didn't. I had I showed restraint. Uh anyway, um and I'll just talk about it, you know, on our podcast. Uh but no, so <laughs> for yeah. our fan. Yeah. No, the the Soul Food Cafe is honestly I would go there, but because it's it's um I just love soul food and I lo love high salt, high fat content, as you can tell. So that would be my first pick. I would go to the soul Soul Food Cafe from the Blues Brothers in a heartbeat. Chad. Um, so I'll just do mine that I work for for Good Moody Monday. I still would love to go to Chinatown and have an egg roll at the Dragon of the Black Pool from Big Trouble in Little China. I don't blame you. Yeah, I'd go. <laughs> I mean, just to sit in that environment, egg shin come out and you know just serve me that food that 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 uh, authentic chinese food or chinese food mm, man would absolutely love it maybe i get to see jack burton come in 
have a few drinks of sake. God, is sake, sake Japanese, not Chinese. Ooh, sorry. Yep, it is, but... Yeah, no, I mean, I just, everything about that, seeing that restaurant in that movie, I wanted to eat there as a kid. And I still do. My watching turn. it as an adult. <laughs> oh, I don't blame you. I, I'd love to go there and see Egg Shin. And, but yeah. here's mine. And I think it's the same one I used for Good Movie Monday. I didn't go back. I love a good cup of coffee. I have a double espresso before I leave the house. And then I have at least one to two cups. Once I get to my office, I have my own little Keurig. It's called an A-I-C-O-K, Icock. It's a generic Keurig. So I love coffee. But I'm not a huge fruit pie fan. And the other two boneheads, I can't remember. Chad, James, are you guys fruit pie fa fans? I like, I like, I mean, if it's a good pie. Chad. I mean, not all people are good Americans and like apple pie. I'm not a big apple uh, pie fan. I'm not. I love apple pie and some cherry pies. I'm not. I don't care for any of those. Come but on, me... oh, if yeah. I could go to Twin Peaks, Oregon, and have the Double R Diner and experience the That's best damn cup of coffee with the best best damn piece of pie, I would do it next week. I'm sorry, it's Washington State. It's not Oregon. Norma Jennings, and she, by the way, Chad Jennings, mm -hmm. caught you know that, me? caught it. And Dale Cooper taught me that the best damn cup of coffee and the best damn piece of pie is at the Double R Diner in Twin Peaks, Washington. Would you guys want to go to Twin Peaks to the Double R Diner? I don't know how many owls are around. It doesn't matter. And and if you come to my house now. I have to admit, baby mama, Christy Lewis, actually hung this. But if you come to my house over in the corner, not only is there an ALF kind of thing over in the kitchen, because I'm a huge ALF fan, but there's also a hanging pie pan for the Double R Diner. And the first time we met Jessa Flux, Jessa Daisy, who is our number one rated guest on the show of all the people, who was nice to us, right? Mm -hmm. She had the cool... Do you guys remember that Friday night when we met her? She had the coolest leather jacket with a double R diner. Do you guys, either one of you, remember this? Mm, I, honestly, I was... No, Her favorite director, one of her favorite directors is between John Walters and... what well, and John, John, John Waters and, and David Lynch. And I follow her on... And I talk to her... Well, I don't talk to her, but we go back and forth on, on social media. She had the coolest double r diner jacket and i admired it mm -hmm. i twin peaks is a fantastic show up until we find out who killed laura palmer oh yeah 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 after that yeah. It just goes Psh. i know i i it's yeah they could have went on for years trying to figure out who went who who killed laura palmer but mm -hmm. once you find out that it was her dad sorry spoiler alert it kind of ends it Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? No. I mean, there's yeah. good episodes afterwards. I still enjoy the show. It's pure Lynch. But once you figure it out, it's meh. I would like to go to the Double R Diner. Who's next? James. Okay, there's another one I'd go to. And admittedly, as much as I, I badmouth Moe's, um, I don't know how the food would be at this establishment because, quite frankly, we know it's a bar and grill, but we don't know what they serve other than that there's competitions involving copious amounts of drinking. But if it was real, I'd want to check out The Raven from Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> <laughs> All I mean, right, James, that, I got to be honest. That didn't occur to me. Did it you, Chad? Mm -mm. No. That's good one. That, well, it's just the the, the environment because I was I was shocking. That's no in one. Nepal, right? Yes, shocking no one. I know um, and, and I've talked about this on the show. A shocker before. that I pulled out Nepal. I couldn't remember. Um, yeah. I, I've I've mentioned this several times on the show. I love Star Wars, but Indiana Jones is kind of that. The the first three really hooked me when I was younger, and I still love Indiana Jones. Matter of fact, if I 
pan the camera over. I've got three Funko Pops. That's Henry Jones Sr., Indiana Jones, and Lando Calrissian. But anyway, um, that one is different. And then I have the action Which figures. Which one's of, different? Henry Jones? Yeah. Yeah. One of them's an old guy. Uh, no. Um, the doll, and then yeah. I have uh, the action figures of professor jones where he's in a suit and he's got the he's you know examining stuff because that would it just works for my office but then i also have professor jones senior so i've got the two action figures next to each other the eight inch tall ones um anyway um but i love indiana jones and i was watching the movie again i've probably seen raiders i don't know it may actually be getting close to a hundred times because I, I i'll just put it on it just makes me happy and I was actually looking at the bar and I was like, you know, this is actually a place I would go. I would actually, there's places to sit. I mean, until it burns, but there's, it's, it's a good environment. It seems like it's open. It's all that stuff. I, I would, I don't know what food they serve, but I would want to check out the race. It doesn't matter what food they serve. They serve Marion. And Marion owns that bar, and Marion Ravenwood is the coolest Indiana Jones girlfriend of all time. Well, yeah, she's the only one that doesn't scream her as a Nazi. Listen, I'm not shitting on Kate Capshaw. I'm sure Steven Spielberg met his soulmate. No, but no, no. And I there's I, not I, anything I, close to Marion Ravenwood. She's a badass. No. Well, and I was gonna say, and I will defend, like, I think the character of Willie is is great for that role. Like I know some people yeah. are like, well, it's not. but it works really well for that story. I would not want, if they brought uh, Marion back, it wouldn't work in that role. You well, need a Marianne Willie that's going to panic. Care of business. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. She's just so not it, written like that damsel in distress. No, no. And so, but anyway, yeah, no, I would, I would totally go to the Raven. I would, and you're right. She is as a proprietor of that institution, man, nothing's going to happen there. Like nothing, you know, it, I don't know if I'd send, send, send my food back if it wasn't made the way I wanted no. it, but, but you're going to get a show. You're going to have something happen. There's going to be some drinking competitions. It's going to be a good time as long as you mind your P's and Q's. Although the history of Marion Ravenwood probably doesn't play as well in nine. And well, I'm sorry. We're in 2024 as it did in 1981. No, no. And again, I would argue the fact that her and Indiana probably had a relationship well before her 18th birthday. Well, I was about to say, and even then, you right? got to remember Gentlemen? the movies. Mm-hmm. Yes, but you got to also remember the movies are set back in the day, even then. So they, I get they, it. Yeah, and no, I, I know, I know. Even Lucas and Spielberg have went on record mm-hmm. before in the eighties that they thought it was much interesting, and that the care was that they had a relationship, not Spielberg and Lucas, but Marion and Indy, before she was eighteen. And by the way, I, d- I don't disagree. We've got to this point where, well, we'll get into it. I'm not going to. But we don't analyze things. From, what'd you say, Chad? My turn. Yeah, I'm sorry, Chad. All right. No, it's good. good. No, um, so for my second pick, um, all I want to do, order a big juicy cheeseburger, side of fries, maybe a nice milkshake, sit up on my stool, and just eat and watch as the characters around me, such as the sewer urchin, the crusading chameleon, American maid, the flater mouse, Arthur, and the tick all come into Ben's diner. That's a good one. So I a good one. Out of the three boneheads, I know the least amount about the tick. And I've only probably watched, I doubt that I've ever watched a full episode, gentlemen. Well, it's on Hulu, so you should stream it. I think I think your son would like it too. I I, I can't disagree. Yeah, We're um, in a Planet of the Apes thing right now, but we will eventually get there. Yeah. So uh, I I have always been fascinated by Ben's Diner on the Tick. Um, in fact, as soon as James came up with this topic, other than uh, uh, it was right off the top of my head as soon, uh, right after the Dragon of the Black Pool, uh, Ben's Diner is. Uh, 
is a direct ripoff of the 1942 painting by Edward Hooper called Nighthawks. Oh, really? Everybody would be familiar if you looked at that painting. You would if you looked it up. It's it's literally just some people sitting in a in a, in a diner in the 1940s on a city corner in the, at nighttime. Yeah. Is it kind of like the one with everybody, whatever it is? There's usually Elvis and James. Yeah. Dean. Is yeah, that that's that, all is based that on one? it's all based on it's all based on Hooper's Nighthawks. Nighthawks, okay. Yeah, uh, and Ben Diners is Ben's Diner is an exact replica of that painting. Um, but yeah, and you, it's they all sit around and they talk about their exploits and they all bo- boast about uh, uh, fighting bad fighting bad guys and most of them never do, especially Deflator Mouse. <laughs> all he cares about is his expensive costume. <laughs> And it's yeah. constantly getting bar- barraged by attacks by such villains as Proto Clown. Uh-huh. It's just, I would just love to sit in Ben's diner for one day and have have one lunch and just watch the activity going on in that that diner, or just overhear the conversation. Yes, exactly. You know what I mean? Just because one of my favorite. I, I'm glad you brought this up because I had almost forgot about it. But a while back, I was watching The Tick, and I think it's actually in the first episode. And they're interviewing him for his hero placement in yeah. the city. And there's this, you know, what's your power? And he's like, I, and they're like, can you destroy the world? And, he, and his response, he can't hope not. That's where I keep all my stuff. <laughs> Is one of my favorite lines of all time. I'm nigh indestructible. And then, of course, you have the 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 Superman ripoff who sits there dressed as Clark Kent. Just having a complete meltdown over when he can take off his his disguise, but everybody always beats him to it. <laughs> and it just because he has to do that internal monologue before he breaks out his costume, it's amazing. I would just love to be in that diner for one day. Cool. Well, that's my second pick. Is it my pick? Is it yep. my turn now? Yep. Can I keep the pie theme going? Sure, you can do whatever you want. You're grown. <laughs> Thank you, fucker. Oh my God. <clears throat> Waitress is a movie that is really good about a lady who can make really good pies. There was a successful stage play about it afterwards. And the writer director, unfortunately had an untimely death from a cockless fucking piece of shit murderer, which is a whole other story that I want to, I won't get to here. Who's also in the so movie. So he wouldn't, he wouldn't have murdered her if he owned some chickens. <laughs> It's really you, sad story. Have you ever boom, looked boom, it up, boom. Chad? No, I haven't. I've heard of it. It's awful. Yeah, it, I, I wasn't trying to shit on you, by the way, Chad, when I said that. When I, no, you were. That's okay, shithead. No, I really wasn't. I really wasn't. That's okay. I I'm just, I'm gonna, as soon as it's over, I'm going to come to your house and beat you up the head with a baseball bat. Go ahead. Promise? Yep. Okay. But I really wasn't. It's more of a, it's one of those, you know, God, there's uh, so many men today who have no, anyway. Yeah, it's we a sad as a gender, story. bunch of douchebags. Yeah, it's a sad story about a man who murdered a lady who was really talented. Not that yeah. you should murder anybody, but she's really talented. She's also in the movie. And we won't get into that. But Waitress is the last great Andy Griffith actually performance for me. And I'm a huge fan of the Andy Griffith show. I know Ch- uh, James is as well. Um, yeah, don't put me in that list. I didn't. <laughs> You almost did. He you almost well, did. I was fuck off. <laughs> but I know James and I are huge fans of the Andy Griffith show. I love it. It's the last great performance of Andy Griffith. He plays one of her customers. And basically it's about a lady who's breaking pies, who's really great at pie making. And she has a boyfriend or a husband who gets her pregnant and he's abusive and beats her. And when she has the baby, she leaves him because clarity happens when you have a child. Now, the one three, so I get this a lot when people, and I've heard it a couple of times, and I don't mean to get emotional about this, but I actually do love this movie. And I love this story. One of the things that people say is, oh, well, Chad and James agree with me about everything. I was like, have you ever listened to the fucking show? Chad and James don't agree about everything. No. I don't I don't even know why people say that. And especially with Chad and I, Chad and I are like brothers and James is like my best friend. And it's we always tend to kind of argue one way or the other because I don't have no, a we don't. And Chad and James are the closest things I have to those things. But Chad and I tend to argue about a lot of stuff no we don't 
No. <laughs> See? But it doesn't mean that we don't love each other. And this movie is about, well, I love you, whether you love me or not. So this Aww. movie is about, shut up. Let me get through this. This movie okay. is about children or a child bringing clarity to your life. Does that make sense to both of you? Yeah. Yeah. Once your child is in your hands, it's like, oh, fuck off on a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, no, it, well, and I, I mean, just to put that in perspective, um, uh, several years ago, not long after my daughter was born, and Joe uh, will remember this event as well, but uh, I got... I was the there first, for the conception. Uh, I, I got for the first time in my career a very, very negative review, annual review. Yeah. And I was told I by my supervisor, yesterday. you should appeal this. Because it was not his decision. And I went, well, I'll think about it. And I went home, and my daughter was very young. But I walked in, the first thing I saw was my daughter. And I'm like, you're right, I'm going to appeal that. And that's exactly what I did. And, and I mean, because it was, I was going to put it, I was like, no, I can't. A, I can't risk my job. But B, no. Like, I'll stand up for my kids and my family before I'll stand up for myself. And oddly enough, James Thomas did me a favor. Dr. Thomas did me a favor. We were working at the same place. I was about to get the same review, only not as negative as James, even though we did the same thing. Do you remember this, James? Mm -hmm. And by the way, they we were very, what, it was concentrated on We did what we James. were supposed to do, by the way. Just we did why. exactly what we were supposed to do. But James, do you remember this? It was concentrated on you, mm -hmm. and I'm not shitting on you, but uh, this is accurate. Yeah. I got, I I got made, negative, uh, but less negative than you. I hurt somebody's feelings. You hurt, right? But am I wrong? No, no, you're not. And wrong. then all I did was I didn't even bother to read James's research. I just had it in a folder, put it down, and that ended the conversation. Do you remember me telling you this, James? Mm -hmm. You had to yep. argue. I didn't even have to argue. I just brought it in and said, oh, I have this. And nobody said a word. So when I say waitress, the, the diner is called, first of all, Joe's Pie Diner. And the fact that Andy Griffith is, is his last great role, in my opinion. And it's about a movie where this waitress makes the best pies and often dreams about how to make the best pies. Once again, a lot of them are fruit pies. And I'm not Was this before or after Spy Hard? <laughs> it's after Chess. Oh, okay. Okay. Then you're right. Thank you, Chess. <laughs> <laughs> James and I were as serious as possible. And thank you, James uh, Chad, for bringing levity to it. This is a movie with a story that it works really well. And it's been, it's a play that plays on and plays on. And the writer director, God bless her has, has longevity in this play past the movie. I think the play is almost as big, if not bigger than the movie and waitress Joe's diner and the pies in that i would like to go i'd like to hang out and just listen to the cantankerous character that andy griffith plays i would like to say hi to the waitress played by and i cannot remember her name carrie chad what's her name she's from Felicity. russell carrie russell thank you she's another one that's miscast in star wars by the way in rise of skywalker which is not a good movie a good movie a good story and a great diner I'd like to visit. Who's next? Is it Chad? James. Next? James. Is it me? You're number yep. two or three. Are we number two or three? We're on number three. Oh, Ooh, we're on number three. There's a ton of these I could do, but I can't I can't end this without talking about one place that has been in multiple films, but I, I keep hearing good things about it, so I'd have to try it. I mean, this pops up. My watch doesn't understand. Um this pops up in films by multiple directors, but it's a completely fake restaurant. It's, I mean, it's it's even in Romy and Michelle's high school reunion. How could one not want to go to Big Kahuna Burger? Because that <laughs> is a tasty burger. That is a yeah. tasty burger. What is this Sprite? I can wash this down with. I mean. I I mean, it, it's in From Dust Till Dawn. It's in Pulp Fiction. I mean, it's a Tarantino invention. 
Yeah, it's uh um Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It's from it's in from Dust Till Dawn the series. Death Proof, The Adventures of Shark Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Is Rogue. it a Death Proof? Yeah. I don't remember. I have to go back and it's been a long time since I've watched Death Proof. Uh, um, Stuntman Mike asks Jungle Julia about meeting him near the Big Kahuna Burger billboard. There's a billboard near the Big Kahuna Burger. Yeah. Uh, that's what it is. Yeah. Um, but again, it even pops up in Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion, which is not Tarantino. From Dust Till Dawn, Four Rooms, Pulp Fiction, and Reservoir Dogs. Uh, but I would honestly, hey, I love burgers. I love good burgers. There's oh my bad God. burgers out there. But that's yeah, the one I, thing. Well, we have several things in common, but that's one of them. That Ghostbusters and Long Johns. What else am I missing? Yeah. But I would, I would totally Chad? go to brisket. I, I do I, love I, a good brisket, I brisket, but I don't think yeah. that's it. Chad, seriously. Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi. Well, I don't know that James loves Sam Raimi like you. I know. like Sam Raimi, but I don't I, think I, he uh, likes him. I don't think he loves him like you and I do. So this, Long Johns. Yeah. Burgers and ghosts and are all and our, our complete hatred of Vincent Price. I will kill what you love and dance while I do it. <laughs> and then when my knees go bad because of all the dancing, you'll feel real bad about yourself. And then you'll have to think about what you did <laughs> as I kill those things that you love. <laughs> but no, no, so yeah, no, um, Big Kahuna I Burger, by the way. Price. Do you know what's on a Big Kahuna Burger? At least from what we see in the film, that's a Hawaiian burger joint. I don't, I'm not familiar with it. See, my girlfriend's vegetarian, so it pretty much makes me vegetarian. Yep, yep. The Big Kahuna Burger we know at least has uh, the burger, cheese, lettuce, and tomato. We do see that on the film. So yes, the Big Kahuna Burger. I would totally have a Big Kahuna Burger. I wonder if it comes with onion rings, because the other option would be. Is that I it could go? Have, it, it also has to have a pineapple, doesn't it? I don't know. I do, we don't see it in the film. But if it's if it's based on Hawaiian, and there can there better not be a damn coconut anywhere near that, or I'm done. Well, but you know, well, because you know, I, James, it's about the texture. I I know, Chad. You mentioned <laughs> it before. The other option, if you want to go to a Tarantino restaurant, though, is that fifties diner, right? Oh God, from what? from Pulp Fiction. Yeah, yeah. What's the name of that? 50s oh my diner? God, I've already forgot. Oh, um, because that would be the other. Because I would go there too. Yeah, I would the do that one. The fact that that um that uh Quentin Tarantino made these movies instead of going into restaurants. Jack Rabbit Slims. Jack Rabbit Slims. No, so yeah. I, I I do gotta admit I That's have a five dollar shake, Chad. I have a huge put problem with in it or nothing. I have a huge problem with theme restaurants. I have a hard time going in and people playing a a part. Why? I really? I don't. I don't, I don't know me. why. It just bothers me. By I'm the way, like, oh, man. talk about inflation. It's been thirty years for Pulp Fiction, right? Came out in nineteen ninety four. A five dollar shake sounded expensive by at that time, guys. Yeah, yeah, ten dollars. Ten. $12 there's $12. a place called Boon Dogs in Lexington mm -hmm. that has five dollar old fashions and old fashioned like Chad's drink of choice used to be a white russian mine is an old-fashioned like i just think oh you're talking about but you're talking about like 20 years ago chad it was a white russian dad i'm oh. just saying now now I said used to be yeah now it's an old-fashioned as well or a whiskey sour well a whole fashion there is a place called boondogs that specializes in hot dogs and their their cheap drink is a five dollar old-fashioned gentleman and it's not huh. bad it's better than the hot dog, actually, in my opinion. I'm going to try Boondogs. That's inflation. Well, let's go this weekend. All right. Let me know Saturday or Sunday. I'm free. Okay. I do enjoy a uh, hot dog, too, actually. I, uh, me, ever... too. It's okay. I mean, I, no. I it's don't. a fun place to go. It's on Old Richmond Road. I've always wanted to go. Never never been. You oh, I'd go. I, I, I go to Sam. I finally went to Sam's hot dog shop because I went at Park Downtown to go. But I, I went. No, to the I've one never been to Sam's cream. either. Oh man, they have a they have a beer cheese hot dog. I mean, um, if you like hot dogs, Silas loves to go. I, I took him. Now I gotta go there too. Some bitch. Oh yeah, no, one they, in they Lexington have a, Green. Chip. I know. Yeah, right that's why I they went. Sell the bourbon. Because I'll be honest, I wouldn't go when it was when I had to pay to park. I, I by the, that's why I don't go to a lot of restaurants downtown. I refuse to pay to park. <laughs> I I grew up in the middle of nowhere. It just angers up my blood. I I would argue with him, but this may be another bonehead thing that we all have in common. I actually yeah. 
have the same fucking problems. The reason I don't go to a lot of downtown stuff. I tried finally tried Nick and Norman's the other day. It's it's because I don't want to pay to park. Yeah, I'm the same way. I don't like paying for parking. Either. I don't like paying for parking. <laughs> I, anyway. I mean, at scare, the... at scare fest and Comic Con, I will use the UK parking and walk an extra ten. I I am paying for space. I just I just, I like... just don't do it. We just well, we're he... cheap bastards. All three of us are cheap. But out of the three, everybody calls me cheap. But out of the three, I'm probably the slightly less cheap than the other. Two. I'm 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 yeah, probably no, I'm the cheapest cheap. out of the three of us. I I, I don't it know, on Chad what we're James. About. It depends on what we're talking about because I literally I've got my generic soda over here because I'm like that Mountain Dew's gotten too. But costly. hold on, really quick, gentlemen, I get called cheap a lot, but out of the three of us, I'm the least cheap. Yeah. 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 Okay, I just for the first time in my life, you're the only other two people I've been surrounded by. My two best friends, probably the least cheap. I'm not saying that I come into my office to charge my phone because I don't want to pay for it. Can you I get the charger? Do it at UK, motherfucker. Yes. You would charge yes. it. He's like, I'm not paying for the electricity. No, <laughs> I joke all the time. The, he would if say they, it all if, the time. If I got to work remotely, their electric bill would go down. It'd <laughs> be a cost saving inter- uh, enterprise, but they Are won't let done? me. So I charge everything. Yeah, Big Kona Burger or Jackrabbit okay. Slims. Was that it? What was it, Chad? Jackrabbit Slims? Jack is it Rabbit my Slims. turn? Yeah. No, it's my turn. Oh, okay. No, wait. Pick number three? Yeah. No, it's my turn. You go last. No. I, do I go last? I thought you went last. I don't know. James, well, who goes next? somebody go. I go, don't you go. know. I, I am going to go with... This is a TV show. It's a TV show I haven't seen every episode of, but it's so well written. It's the same guy that created... Hannibal, which I love the Hannibal series. And it's pushing daisies. And I would love, and I'm going to keep with I'm doing a theme. Oh, our gentlemen. former producer, if she only listened to the show still. And gentlemen, you realize I'm doing a theme. The pie hole. <laughs> push I have daisies. never seen you eat a piece of pie in ever. I know. I don't really like pie unless it's a really good chocolate cream. Oh, by the way, some pie that I love that I never get. Except you like meringue, you weird piece of shit. Meringue's good. Most people like meringue. Meringue tastes like like fucking styrofoam. America, fireworks, or meringue. It's, yeah, but you don't like apple pie. So no, the only real good American I like to me. I, like I love apple pie. pie. Meringue, meringue oh, is just styrofoam holding pudding. That's all meringue is. No, no it's I disagree. Is. But my I wife disagree. also won't eat meringue because her mother used to tell her that it was, and I quote, cow slobbers. Ugh. I guess that's better than some sort of semen thing. It is, and it, it, it's close to the truth because you either get styrofoam or you get a loogie consistency. It's, it's better way. than styrofoam. No, no, my mother's is don't don't. I mean, you gotta have it made right. It's like most things. If it's made right, it's okay. No, if I haven't I had your could, mom's meringue. I've had your mom's pudding. I've had his mom's pussy. Now, um, as I was joking, her banana pudding's pretty good. Her kitten was amazing. Got to pet that cat for an hour. Well, we were going food themes, and then James, Joe just went another direction. But no, I didn't. I just said I like cats. Will you go with your pie pick, please? <laughs> I like a good butterscotch, but I never get it. And I don't need the jello butterscotch. Like an actual butterscotch pie, that's something I never get. Or a good chocolate cream. What's I the difference? Have... What's the difference? Of chocolate between... cream? What, no, what's the difference between a butterscotch pudding pie and an actual butterscotch pie? Well, like a jello butterscotch is shitty. An actual butterscotch with flavor is really good, but, but I only is it, ever is had it a, a half a dozen of butterscotch that are really good. But is it of a pudding consistency? It is, but the flavor is completely different. Okay, just want to make sure. But the flavor is completely is this. By the way, if you're listening to this going, why are you arguing? You should have heard us argue one time for an hour and a half about the difference between fried chicken and chicken fingers. And if you're okay. thinking there's a big difference, then you're on my side. If you're thinking there's no difference, team Chad. Yeah. All tastes the same. It does not. Now, <laughs> really good butterscotch <laughs> is really important. I, the fact that this is a short lived show that it's just too weird to live. It's basically uh, Emerson called sleuthing abilities, and, and, and it's about these the pie maker and trying to find out who murdered somebody. It's a weird show. If you've never heard of it, that's okay. Pushing daisies, check it out. 
I would love to hang out at the pie hole and try some of these marvelous pies. That's it. And if you're out there thinking, I would love to get Joe something, something for Christmas, two things. One, an actual rich, deep, dark chocolate, not jello pudding pie or the same scotch. Chad. Hey, hey, have you, uh, did, did, have you ever had my, seriously, I'm being honest, have you ever yeah. had my mom's fudge pie? No, I'd no. love to try your mom's fudge pie. Her, she makes a fudge pie. It's, it's chocolate. It's about that thick. Yeah, it's I'd love to try it. I have, Why don't you bring us one, James? I because she have, only makes them rarely. I currently but. have a mother-in-law who does one for me every other, every third Christmas. When's the next Even though I've been told I'm the most successful and favorite son-in-law, I still only get one every three years. Hmm. I am actually probably the best son-in-law, but that's beside the point. Chad. So if somebody was to ask me what my favorite meal of the day was, it would be breakfast. Yeah, probably my I, least favorite. I love it, doing anything with eggs. I love all eggs of all type variety. I love anything you do with potato, sausage, so on and so forth. What I don't like about breakfast is the fascination with biscuits. I'm not a big fan of biscuits. Never Because have they're way better than eggs. No. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, again, yeah, sir, the, uh, Chad, have, James and I are going to agree with my honor, sir. That's fine. That's fine. You can like your lard and flour. Yes. All day long. Uh, it's way better listen, than that. Once again, that's something my mother makes well, and I will not have you offend her honor. That being said, if I went into this place and had a biscuit, I would try it. Big ass biscuit from CB4. That's an obscure one. <laughs> a biscuit as big as your head with a slice of butter that could you could almost that weighs probably as much as your head. I want to try one of these biscuits, even though if you watch the movie, they look fake as hell. Hmm. I mean, they absolutely look like a prop made out of rubber. I but, honestly don't remember the movie CB4 in any way, shape, or form. So but CB4, I'm still shocked. Yeah. You really like, and, and I know the answer to this. I don't know why I'm asking, because I know James and I are going to fall in the opposite category. You really like eggs better than biscuits? Yes, I do. I don't like biscuits. And you don't like pasta, and you don't don't like fireworks, and you don't (laughs) like explosions, and you don't like concerts. All of this is true. And I I want to go on record one more time for our listening audience. uh, Not to get too personal, but I I had a hearing test today, and there's a reason why I apparently don't like concerts or fireworks which I won't get into. I'll talk about that off the air. But because, well, but by the way, drama. No, it's what? By the way, though, I do want to say the problem I have with I like eggs too, Chad. I like good eggs, but there's so many people that mess eggs up. Oh no, I agree. That, like a good omelet. How do you great. mess an egg like, up? You you, you over I you overcook it. You, overcook you undercook it. it? You get that, I don't know how else to say it, but they get like rubbery or yeah. something. You yeah. micro, I don't know, man. I've had bad eggs at restaurants. Yeah, no, you can get, you can eggs get to me eggs. are just like the basically they're the Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy to me, eggs are like vanilla, or they're the Jimmy Kimmel of the of the food world. No, that's like they the same always, as biscuits. It's not at all, at all. No, I disagree. They 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 by themselves. Hold on, you just cut me this. fucking off. Shut up. Thank you. What? <laughs> Eggs, eggs are just like steak. You, there are several. You, if you, you have to prepare it a certain way, or you're going to get a bad egg. I, yeah, they're bland. If you cook them the wrong way, if you cook them the right way, they are amazing. And you have to find a good place to cook them. Yeah, like James said, there are plenty of places that uh, usually popular chains that if you order eggs, you're not going to get a good egg. But there are certain places, and if you look online on how to cook eggs, you can get a pretty damn good egg. No, I don't. I, but I, I, biscuits, they just taste like air and flour to me. I don't, I'm not a big fan of them. Yeah, it's weird. By the way, thank you for not taking my joking, telling you to shut the fuck up personally. <laughs> I don't think you've ever, I don't think you mean that. No, what? About taking it personally. About to, thank you for not taking it personally. <laughs> Eggs. 
Yeah, They're I just here love eggs. To I love provide eggs. protein, just like Jimmy Kimmel. And biscuits are made for filler. That's all they were. They were for poor people who couldn't biscuits, afford eggs. Biscuits, no, 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 no. Biscuits can be fantastic on their own, and they can be fantastic as a conveyor to other things. So can eggs. Mm, an egg needs something with it. So does biscuits. No. Yes, I'll be honest, a really dude, good can, prepared I biscuit. A, James, I, can is, I hope James biscuit. is going to back me up on this one. A really, I can really eat well prepared biscuits biscuit. by themselves. Yeah, and I can eat my mom's biscuits by themselves. themselves. James is no. right. I I biscuits. But Chad, no offense. The reason I brought up the other four, five things is to prove that your judgment is questionable when it comes to these <laughs> things. No, it's not. There are plenty of people who don't like going. I had a talk with somebody today who says I hate concerts too. So no concerts. Yeah, fireworks. they're called assholes. No, they're called people who want to keep their fucking hearing and don't want to and then go and to go. I paid a hundred dollars. I'm just I paid a hundred dollars. I paid over. I paid over a thousand dollars to go see my the musician I like look like an ant and, and barely understand the music. Well, they're singing. I the one I'm ways. hearing, Chad, is that you met other people who also didn't enjoy joy. No, we find joy in other things. Not that shit. like bland ass Jimmy Kimmel and eggs. Okay, all right. Bland let's, ass let's, Jimmy Kimmel. Do we have any? What Jimmy Kimmel is mean? always my example of. Oh look, vanilla of comedy. Some people. Oh, by yeah. the way, I would uh, off topic the the new HBO series about uh, Conan O'Brien traveling around the world. Hilarious. I'm sure. Yeah, I haven't I, had a chance have to you, watch it. The Eugene Levy one was really good, so I'm excited about the Conan one. Um, Conan. Conan. He gets pissed if you call him Conan. We, by the way, need to wrap. Well, this. when he yes, shows we up and corrects me. Well, actually, so here's the thing. Chad, Any is, honor... Chad has already tra- started to draw a crowd of two people who also agree that concerts and eggs are awesome. I mean, or suck or whatever. By I the forgot. way, those people who comment, feel free to tell me I'm wrong. Feel free to tell me I'm right. Either I'm way, curious. Joe's, Joe's going to go. Dude, I'm dude. right because who I'm here right. Hates everything. biscuits and I, I, I don't think we're going to get comment. a second episode out of this. So anybody want have honorable mentions? Because I, 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 I have one honorable mention. We could do. We could do a whole other episode. I've got plenty, but no, I, I, I got honorable, honorable mention. Sorry, Joe, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, I have an honorable mention. Go for it. I it's uh, there's two really, but I'll try to narrow it down to. Uh, I would love to go Vesuvio's or The Sopranos. The Sopranos is one of my favorite shows of all time. To me, The Sopranos represents uh, arcs shows. You That's know. not where he got shot at, right? Or no, no. Vesuvio okay. is, is his cousin that owns it. It's uh, I forgot. Jeez, oh, I forgot his name, Chad. I forgot the actor's name too. But it's the one he always goes to eat, and it's his cousin that works there. And it burnt. He actually ends up burning it down, and then having to build it back. No, oh, okay. it's just. I would love to go there and hang out and try the Italian food. There's another one that I have, but I'll save it if in case we do this later again. Who's next? James. Oh, oh hold on. I've got to make sure I get this. Plus, I right. enjoy pasta unlike who? Me. Chad. I just can't stand it. I'm just sorry. I know, I know, and I know that is one of those divisive things that nobody can understand because I've been I've been looked at weird. I don't Even like it. Even after gastric sleeve, I can't eat as much. I can't eat as much of it, but I'd love a few good bites of a <laughs> no. Ugh. Fills me up, but it's amazing. Because Chad hates joy, James or Chad. I honorable mention. I my, I'll do at least. I've got actually about three, but uh, I've got to mention bowling, chop suey palace. Because who would not want to go there? If it's good enough for the old man, yeah, it's good I agree. For you, if they bring that damn duck out with a head oh, on it, oh man, I want, yeah. can you imagine? Wait, I would totally. I would, but Christmas. doesn't that look good? It looks. Oh, good. oh Christmas story. Okay, it does look yeah. good. I I agree with you, James. It looks good. I would totally love it. I'd love the experience. But have you have you all ever had good duck? Because I've never had good duck. I have. I have had one. I've what? had one place. A place in Louisville that was a small Vietnamese eatery. Very small. I don't. I can't even get back there. But my um, I guess former sister in law. Said that was the most authentic, and it was really good. It was, hmm. oh, it was good. It's, it's good a duck. good point, Chad. I think you have to have a good orange or pressed duck. A duck's one of those things like eggs. <laughs> it takes a little <laughs> extra effort in other places. Hey, Jane, yeah. Joe, your hair's doing James's frame. <laughs> yeah, it's truly outrageous. Uh, 
Arnold's drive-in would be another one because hey, Mr. James, Mr. if we did part there. two, I was going to do Arnold's because I wanted to go there. Happy days, uh, bitch. Uh, Stan McKee. I don't want to go donuts. in a place where somebody drives a motorcycle in the restaurant. Imagine having all it's sucking in all that exhaust. Yeah, it sounds fucking amazing. Once again, freedom. I don't want to have pancakes and carbon monoxide. I ain't ordering the pancakes. Well, then don't go to Waffle. <laughs> I hate pancakes. <laughs> Right, okay. I gotta agree with Chad. I don't hate oh. them, but they have to be fantastic. I never order the pancakes. I never have fantastic pancakes. Yeah, I would go to Stan McKee's Donuts, and finally, I would go to. I, I don't know how their food is because we never get to see their food. I don't think, but I would like to know. I, I would visit Fratelli, the Fratelli's restaurant. <laughs> from from Cheers, Cheers. No, from no. Goonies. Goonies. Oh, Goonies. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's no. We never see any food. I don't think. Do we? No. I, no, no. That movie. That that. that ooh. The eat, go just rewatch the, Goonies. The water in the glasses. Ugh. Just go rewatch Goonies and see just how illogical so many jumps. There are, are so many plot holes. Yeah. yeah. Chad. It breaks us up. up. All it right. Long. Uh. So two that I wanted to I, I would have picked if I did have those three amazing ones. Uh. Warriors. That is Guy Gardner's themed bar and eatery from DC Comics. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he. That's where all the superheroes would go and hang out and talk to Guy Gardner when he. Uh, and, uh, and there was plenty of superhero memorabilia around. I would love to eat there. Uh, and then I finally would love to go to this place and get the the uh, the uh, quiet blank stares at the slaughtered lamb. <laughs> that so oh. both of you stole a couple that i was going to use if we did a part two i mean there's you no were going to pick the they slaughtered serve, lamb now chad they don't serve food at the slaughtered lamb i could probably get an egg out of somebody <laughs> chad it would be tasteless which would be right up well it would alley. be a boiled egg but just tasteless it's, but you put a little salt on it flavor. and it tastes like salt flavor chad. count Chad, I actually there was one I didn't mention because I was so sure you would mention they it. Just have tea. I was so sure you were going to mention Chad. I didn't mention it, and so I've got to say it before we before we please close. do because I don't know which one I would which one you. How did you not mention Choky Chicken from Rocco's uh, Modern Life? Oh, I forgot about Choky's Chicken. Choky's Chicken. I also forgot about Los Hermanos. Mm. Oh, I'd love to try the fried chicken from there. Los yeah. Polos Hermanos. Los yep. Polos Hermanos. Yep. Oh. oh. I, that was another one they did a real pop up of that I would have gone to because I can eat me some chicken tenders. And then I the final, the, 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 my food. final, then since we're, we're uh, I still would like to eat at McDowell's. Mm. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Just so we can get, uh, see what, and, and, and then legitimately leave the parking lot and go to McDonald's and see. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Good time. Good time. Guys. All right. This has been Bonehead Weekly Fun Size. I hope of oh, Bonehead Weekly uh, full episode. So sorry about that. Hopefully you all have listened to this and have some of your own ideas. Please feel free to shit on either me, James, or Chad in the comments about what you feel is terrible food and what's good food. We will not get insulted. Uh, By the I'm, way, though, I'm, well, James it... might get insulted because he's still not over that Vincent Price shit on. But the other two, I just I don't get it. I mean, of all the episodes, why why did people hate on the Vincent Price episode? Uh, we really made terrible episodes. Me. We have made terrible. I legitimately episodes. did a shit ton of research on that one too. I know. I just hated on James Chad. It's just James. <laughs> I uh, found out his dad. If I wanted, if I wanted hated on, I'd just go to my family reunions. Yeah, they wouldn't know you. This has been Bonehead <laughs> Weekly. Uh-huh.